Now, once a year, we have the painstaking job of looking over almost 30 leadership classes who all at one time could maybe legitimately claim that they were the best class ever. And then we have to look within those classes to all the leaders uh, within them to see uh, who is deserving of being the next distinguished alumni. And if you look in your program, you'll see a list of past recipients and appreciate the difficult task when you see the names and the legacies of leadership that they each represent. And I'd like to take a moment, if you are one of our distinguished alumni and you are with us tonight, would you please stand so that we can recognize you? tonight we are fortunate to have a very special leader once again but very distinct that we get to recognize as our 2018 distinguished alum without whom his leader without whom this leadership organization may not have been born now there are many in this community that would stand up and testify to the impact that Mike McComas has made not only as the co-founder of Leadership Collier but in his constant guidance and shepherding of our success over the years however I'd like to share comments from two people who know Mike well and our distinguished alums themselves and understand what this honor really means. First, the tribute from another co-founder of Leadership Collier, Scott Sally. He commented, most new programs within any organization require adequate funding, keen organizational skills, and an unwavering passion framed by a clear vision for the future. This is exactly what Mike McComas brought to the planning exercises for the launching of Leadership Collier. During the inaugural year of Leadership Collier, the endless things that could go wrong did go wrong. <laughs> However, Mike's perpetual tenacity kept the chamber staff focused on the mission and the Leadership Collier classmates highly motivated. To provide a snapshot regarding Mike's position during the 88-89 era, he unselfishly served as the ringmaster for an unproven leadership program that has now continued for 28 years. Mike's energy never allowed the perception or the actual possibility that the Leadership Collier program could fail to numerous reasons such as the lack of specific program funding or not having absolute buy-in from the invited companies, businesses, and governmental organizations that were covertly courted to participate in the first year's class. You have leadership, you have good, might find good leadership in some instances, Mike McComas has provided and continues to provide great leadership. Congratulations, Mike, for being honored as this year's recipient. Respectfully, Scott Sally, class of 89. We have another tribute that comes from C.J. Houston. She says, At last year, as last year's Leadership Call Your Alum Award recipient, I only wish I could be with you there tonight to announce Mike McComas as this year's recipient. However, please allow me to share some brief thoughts. Mike, co-founder of Leadership Collier, is a humble and visionary leader. Mike's footprint has been seen in this uh, community, or in his, is seen in his love for our community through serving as a mentor, volunteer, committee chair, board member, and go-to leader. Through these efforts, he has continued to cultivate involvement with others, resulting in a strong commitment to giving back, making Collier the best place to live and work. If you ask Mike what his goal was back in 89 for the initial leadership program, he would modestly have told you to bring professionals together as a support group for each other. Well, mission accomplished. Would you please join me in welcoming the recipient of this year's Distinguished Alumni Award, Mr. Michael McComas. I'm truly honored to join a list of distinguished past recipients that you see in the program. There are way too many people for me to take the time to mention tonight, unless you really tend not to have dinner or a drink after this. <laughs> but over the three decades that Scott, Park Wright, and I worked to get this over three decades ago when we worked to get this program started one person who was 
instrumental in giving us the support we needed with the chamber board, who's been mentioned, but I would like to mention him again, was my dear friend, Dudley Goodlett. Dudley, forever. I have a couple of family members here tonight, all of whom have a connection to the leadership programs. My nephew, Blake Owen, who is a graduate of Leadership Kyer 05. My niece, Amy Schneider Owen, who was a graduate of the Leadership Kyer class of 08. And just so you know how much I appreciate it, I'm well aware of the fact that you gave up tickets to the Foo Fighters tonight. <laughs> and I appreciate you being here. And last but not least, my goddaughter, Erin Pelton, who came down from Tampa and would have been a member of the game class of 2014. She wasn't so damn good at her job and got promoted and transferred up to Tampa. I want to thank you for allowing me to share the stage with you this evening. It's a rare privilege. Thank you very much and congratulations to all of you.